Welcome to Japan, a land of rich traditions, breathtaking landscapes and extraordinary drinks. Join me as I embark on a flavorful journey tasting 10 of the most unique and exotic alcoholic beverages. Let's dive in into the heart of Japanese drinking culture and assuming I'm not completely smacked out my face by the end of this video. Come by. Ah yes, Kalpis Sour. Don't let the name fool you, let's just hope it doesn't taste the way it sounds. I think it's vodka with milk. Since the name intrigued me so much, I had to do some little research. So this was created by a, a Japanese businessman back in the early 1900s. And he traveled to Mongolia and found that they drank some sort of uh, fermented milk drink. And so, Kalpisawa was born. Anyway, enough of that history lesson, let's... Uh, Try some. I managed to find a see-through glass, so let's go again. In fact, I should pour how much I'm actually going to drink. Nice. Hey, you know what? That's not that bad. I thought it was going to taste... It just tastes like lemonade. You know what? That's just, to me, that's like a very um, bland lemonade. And by the way, this is a 3% alcohol, so we're going to be going from 3% all the way up to, I believe, 15%. And we're going to go from low to high, so let's see how that goes. Next, we have Hapikuru Sour. So this is another milk yogurt drink. Um, what's up with these drinks with milk in them? This is made from what they call a shortju, which is a Japanese distilled beverage, typically made from barley, sweet potatoes and rice. Uh, so let's see if this can make me happy on a night out. That's more yellow than white. <laughs> anyway, cheers. Oh wow, okay. That is a lot more sweet. That's like a, that's a sweet, sweet lemonade. Cheers. Who said you can have some? How dare you? How dare you take my drink? Um, wait, what am I doing? What we got next is Takara Ochawari. Did I say that right? I probably just jeopardized that name there. But now we are up to 4% alcohol now, so we're slightly going up. So there's nothing really Special that I found about this drink, other than the fact that they've mixed some green tea. Now, I can't tell how much or what the percentage of green tea it has, but I thought I'd give it a go. Ah, look at that. It's actually green. Wow. I've no, by the way, I've, not, I've never had these drinks before, so, you know, it's a good, uh, good thing to try for at least once. Really? Wait, wait, wait. You can barely taste the alcohol in that. And I can taste more green tea than alcohol. Please, try that. Have you tried this one? Oh, you have. Give it back here. I don't like it, but uh, if I were to give that a score out of 10, that would get a, that would get a three. Three out of 10. Oh, next, we have... Kirin Remon Sour. Right now, we're up to 5% alcohol. Huh? Cheers, come by. I'm really not looking forward to whatever is on the um, higher scale of alcohol. Well, the first drink was mild lemonade. The second drink was sweet lemonade. This is Actually, I just realized it's on the name. It's sour, sour lemonade. This is the worst thing I've ever- Out of 10, I'd give that a four. Next, we have this Kraft Spice Soda drink at now 6% alcohol. So this is another vodka drink. Um, I was trying to find a list of ingredients, but on a random website, all I could find was the secret lies not in the fruit juice, but in the use of spices. We use a blend of lemon peel, ginger, coriander, and 
four. And unfortunately, I can't read enough Japanese to read the ingredients on the ingredients list. Let's try it. I can't even imagine what this will actually taste like. Damn. I can actually smell the spice. <laughs> Yeah, I can definitely smell ginger and coriander. I don't know what else that is, but... Oh no. <coughs> you don't want to be like this. This is disgusting. This is awful in every way. If I could kill it, I would. But I legally can't. But I've considered it. I rarely drink alcohol. My go-to drink is a cocktail. And even then, that is probably one or two cocktails in a year. That will get a two out of 10 for me. So next we have another drink called Sontari Highball. Uh, this is another one at 7%. So this is a mixed alcoholic drink made from Japanese whiskey and cider. Um, and it's supposed to be lemon flavored. I know a lot of people buy this when they go on a night out. This is what they call a toko ume sawa. In Japanese, a toko means man or male, and ume means Japanese plum. See, now that, to me, looks appetizing. <laughs> yeah, boy. That is actually disgusting. What? I think this is probably the second best drink so far on this list. What the fuck? I could definitely taste the plum. You know how dangerous 9% is? But there are people out there that will have multiple cans of these. Very easy. This, this is easily drinkable. You're not going to see the day until tomorrow. I would give this a 5 out of 10. We have what we call the Clear Cooler Strong. Uh, this is another 9% alcohol drink. I wouldn't buy it, but if you want to get hammered on a night, if you want to get hammered really quickly, just have a can. You do realise all these cans they're going to get spilt down the sink, right? Yes, it's a waste. There's no one here to drink 10 cans of alcohol, unless you never want to see me again. No, God! And the one cup is 15% alcohol, which is absolutely ridiculous. This is what we call in Japan a sake, which is basically a Japanese rice wine. I believe this is the oldest drink on this entire list, which was created around the 1600s. Do I try both? They're literally the same drink. This is the regular size, and actually there's another size bigger than this. I guess you know it's gonna probably be a good night when your sake comes in its in its own cup. This right here is my favorite thing ever. In the history of forever. I think about this every day. I think about this all night long. I don't like it very much. <laughs> I read some reviews before I bought this and a lot of people say, look, it's not very good. If you come to Japan, this is one of the drinks that you have to try. Holy shit, why is it so much harder? That's what she said. <laughs> That's not the worst drink on this list. I'd give that like a four out of 10. One more sip for good luck. <laughs> 